SoapCentral.com presents the 46th Daytime Emmy Awards Red Carpet. From Pasadena, California, it's Soap Central's Dan Kroll. What's going through your mind as you walk down this, I don't know, 60, 100 feet of red carpet? Uh, your shirt. This whole thing? Yes. I made it myself. What is, is it? Is it, uh, you made it? No, I didn't. Oh, I was about to say, I need one. Give me no, one. No, uh, it's, it's like chains, right? It is. It's, uh, from the new designer of Burberry. He's sort of inspired by Gucci. Wow. I mean, that's, that's uh, clean. It's kind of fun. But, um, you're also looking quite okay, cool. dapper as well. Thank so. you so much. I appreciate With, that. Do you have a, a whole, like, I, do, I have like a whole team of like elves and things that get me dressed. Was this, did you find this? Did someone get this for you? Uh, uh my stylist. My stylist helped me pick this out. Stylist, that yes. sounds impressive. Yes, thank you. <laughs> so, funny story because I mean it's, it's, it is, but it isn't. Uh, I had mentioned that I would probably be talking to you today because you're a nominee, and I was very excited. And someone wrote to me and used a lot of words that I won't say to you, um, and said, "We know you can't talk to him because he died," and I had to explain <laughs> that it wasn't real. That it wasn't real. Right. So to make it real, in 60 seconds or less, well, about 30 seconds or okay. less, everything that happened to your character in the last year. Uh, okay. Uh, he came to he came to Port Charles. He uh, uh, found a beautiful girl named Jocelyn. Uh, grew a strong bond. Uh, fast forward, fast forward. Uh, he got diagnosed with uh, cancer. And then goodbye, Oscar. Well, that's sad. I mean, how was it playing it? I, I watched the scenes on the plane flying out here for the Emmys. No, because I looked like a crazy person. I'm on the plane. Why? So, uh, what was it like being on the other end, being the one who was making us cry? Uh, like uh, acting and, and yeah. doing the scene. You know, as an actor, I try to do my I try to do my very best to deliver and give a performance that can affect people. So I'm 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 happy that it affected a lot of people. And clearly, you did because this is like top secret here. <laughs> Got our little cheat sheet of nominees, and what is it like to see your name on a list and seeing that you are, in fact, an outstanding younger actor, daytime Emmy nominee? It means the world to me. I've been acting for such a long time, and uh, for it to get recognized and even be here is a, is an opportunity that it's just a blessing. It's a blessing, a true blessing. So I had a question uh, from someone who I spoke to before. They wanted me to ask whoever I spoke to next. The person I will tell you was Eaton. And she wanted me to ask whoever I spoke to next, have you ever gotten into a fight with someone you were working with and then had to shoot a scene with them? You can plead the fifth, it's completely understandable. I plead the fifth. I will still reward you and your honesty. You get to give me a question to ask whoever I speak to next. And keep in mind, we have no idea who it is. What's your favorite cereal? Like breakfast cereal. All right. Congratulations. Good luck tonight. Appreciate it. SoapCentral.com presents the 46th Daytime Emmy Awards Red Carpet. From Pasadena, California, it's Soap Central's Dan Kroll.